I have just uh, added a new connection and the red. The red is from the my programmer is on the other side of the wall and there is a permanent live there. So I just connect to the permanent live from the programmer and here we will need this permanent live for our new thermostat. So we're going to have the permanent live. This is the switched live from the programmer and this going to be this going to be the in uh, for the for the thermostat and they going to be out so switch the live by the thermostat this is a switch live from the programmer and this is a permanent uh, neutral so we're going to uh, install our new thermostat so this is our new box for the new thermostat and uh, we're going to punch the hole here. We can punch a hole here, punch a hole here, or on the back. So we're, we're going to try here, here, uh, maybe on the back. Now we have punched the holes on the side, in the middle, and also three holes for uh, fixing the back plates to the wall. So now we have the uh, back box installed. And actually, the four holes not matching the old uh, thermostat uh, backplate. So I just uh, uh, drilled another hole. So the original hole here, I drilled another hole. And that, I drilled another hole. It's uh, broken pieces, but it still uh, works fine. And then we have uh, four wires. So this is the permanent uh, live, permanent neutral. And this is the switched live from programmer. This is a switched uh, live by the thermostat to the boiler. So we're going to install our new thermostat. So here you can see our new thermostat need a permanent live, permanent neutral. That's four and a three. So we're going to connect the permanent uh, red wire to terminal 4. And the permanent uh, neutral, the blue wire, to terminal 3. And the other two switch the live. It is okay if we put them into one or two. Either way, should work fine. So now we have uh, connected uh, the wires, as we said earlier, to the terminal 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, you see the wire inserted to the hole in there, and there are four screws here. You can tighten up uh, the wire, and uh, the wire will be fixed uh, inside the terminal. So now we have got all of them, just uh, bind the wire, make them uh, if comfortable. Uh, when we install the back place over there and also you notice that there's the earth wire we uh, don't need that earth wire we just uh, leave it uh, at that corner so next uh, uh, we're going to install the back place to the uh, two holes on the on the back box so the back place uh, we uh, said earlier on we just uh, slide this up so the back plate will be off, so we can install over there. Two problems found. So one problem is the uh, provided uh, screw is not the right side for the UK back box. So I just find uh, another two which, is, uh, which are the right size for the fixing. Another problem is that the uh, the back plate is a little bit small. If you put them in, uh, it could be just uh, get into the box. So I just uh, uh, make them on the edge on this side. You see the other side is a little bit uh, out of the edge of the box. But uh, lower side and this side against the edge of the box, it seems uh, okay. So after you get the two screw in, uh, just uh, put this into the back place. So get them uh, in and press uh, 
down the outside. Maybe I have to use the uh, two hand uh, to be more balanced. Now I have used the two hand, just put it on and slide it down. So this is the installed position. Now we have turned the power supply on. So you can see the room temperature now is uh, 18 degree. And you can uh, have the backlight if you touch this one. So the backlight is on and then backlight is off. So this is uh, how I install the Wi-Fi enabled smart thermostat.